Hello everybody! In this data visualization tutorial we're going to go over how you can take some locations and plot them onto a map using Tableau. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at our locations. We have our locations and the addresses and the latitudes and longitudes for some frisbee golf courses here in our Excel worksheet. Now if you have all of this information, you should be ready to go. You can import this into Tableau and plot your locations. However, oftentimes you may not have your latitudes and longitudes. So let's delete those. And if you don't have the latitudes and longitudes, there are many different resources and tools out on the web that will allow you to take the address, plug that in, and then it will output the latitudes and longitudes. So you can just do a Google search and type out something like geocode addresses. And on the front page, you should see many tools that will help you to do this. However, before we move on, let's just show you a quick, easy way that you can do this using Python. So let's go over to our Python environment. We're using the Spider Integrated Development Environment. And we've gone ahead and plugged in our addresses here. We've put these into a list and assigned them to the variable addresses. We're using the geocoder module, and if you'd like to use another module to do this, I'm sure there are many more on the python.org website. However, in this case, let's just stick with the geocoder module. So once we've put in our addresses, we can use a for loop to loop through or over the addresses. Then we're going to go ahead and use our geocoder module, and then we use a print to display the output. Now, before we run this, from time to time, the outputs may be blank. And if that happens, just go ahead and run it until all of the latitudes and longitudes are filled in. So let's run this and see what we get. Okay, so you can see here we have some empty square brackets. So let's just run it again. Okay, so we get our addresses and the corresponding latitudes and longitudes. Now again, as mentioned, if they don't fill in right away, just run it a few more times. So let's copy this. Let's go back to Excel. Now let's paste these, and we're going to have to do some data cleanup. So we already have our addresses. Just make sure that they match, and they do, so we can delete this. To continue to clean this up, let's go ahead and get rid of these end square brackets here. So let's go to Edit, Find, and Replace. Let's put in our end square bracket, and we want to replace it with nothing, and we want to replace all. That's going to go ahead and replace all five. We can close that. And now let's do a text to columns and split this into latitude and longitude. So let's go up to data, text to columns, delimited, next. And let's split it on the comma and finish. So now we can select this and cut and paste. Okay, so now we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and save this, and we can quit. Okay, so we have this on our desktop here. Okay, let's go over one more way that you can get the latitudes and longitudes for your addresses. In this example, we're going to use the R language in R Studio. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have the ggmap package. So go over here to your packages and check the box for ggmap. If you don't have ggmap, go to install and then just search for it, select it and hit the install. And you should be good to go. Okay, so we already have our box checked for ggmap. Then we're going to create our vector or list for the addresses, we've put those all in here. So we use geocode, then we use our round brackets, we use C, and if you'd like more information on C, you can go down here to your console and hit a question mark, C, round brackets, and this will give you the information for the C function, which basically, as we mentioned, combines values into a vector or list. We've gone ahead and assigned it to our variable locations, and then finally we use a print to display the locations. So let's clear our console. Let's hit Control L. And very similar to the example using the Python, from time to time, you'll have to run this a few times before all of the values will be filled in. So let's go ahead and just select everything. Let's hit Run. 
and you can see we get a few NAs here. Now let's just run this until we get all of our latitudes and longitudes filled in. Okay, so I did have to run this a few times, but here we have all of our latitudes and longitudes. And notice that the longitudes are first, whereas with the Python example, the latitudes were first. So just pay attention to that when you're copying and pasting this into your data sheet, and you should be good to go. So now let's go to Tableau. And you can see over here on the left sidebar, we have our connect options. We're going to use Microsoft Excel. Here is the file that we want on our desktop. Let's go ahead and hit open. So here we have a preview of our data. We have our location names, the addresses, the latitudes, and longitudes. Now one thing to quickly point out is these are your data types. So the location is set to string, as is the address, and that should be fine for now because what we're going to use is the latitude and longitude. And you'll see a little globe here next to those, which indicates a geographic role of the number type, and you can see that it appropriately assigns latitude to the latitude and longitude to the longitude. Okay, so this all looks fine. Now we're ready to go to our worksheet. So let's go here. And the first thing we want to do is go ahead and put our latitude and longitude into our columns and rows. Now instead of dragging, let's just go ahead and double click each one and it will assign it automatically. So you can see that it put the longitude here and the latitude here. Now the first thing you'll notice is that we get one dot, and this isn't really what we want yet. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and take the location and drag that to detail. So here we have our locations. But this doesn't really tell us a whole lot yet. So let's go up to map, and then map layers, and let's go ahead and click our county borders, and our county names, and let's also click the streets and highways so we can get better reference points for where these locations are. Now let's zoom out just a little bit. We can close the map layers and then let's take our locations and put the names on each dot. So to do that we can drag this on to label. Now let's zoom in a little bit And you can see each dot has been plotted onto the map, and you can see where each Frisbee golf course is. Now let's zoom out again. So now we have a pretty clear view here. We have the roads and the counties and the dots that plot all of the Frisbee golf courses. Another quick note is if some of your addresses are not showing up, you might want to go to Label and click this Allow Labels to Overlap. And sometimes, depending on what you're trying to do, that can fix the problem. Okay, so that's all we have for this data visualization tutorial on how you can plot different locations onto a map using Tableau. We will be doing many more data visualization tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.